<laughs> oh, what fun! I'm looking over a four-leaf clover that I've ever looked before. Look at that. Look at that, dogs. A four-leaf clover. Yeah. You can eat it. Look at that. A four-leaf clover. No, don't dig it up. Inca, it's a four-leaf clover. Yes, it's a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Hopefully that bodes well for the coming year. Isn't that right? I'm looking over a four-leaf clover that I've not looked over before. I know the song is wrong, but there you go. A four-leaf clover. I'll leave it there for luck. Maybe I'll find another one in the area. Anyway, I'm heading off to trim more hellebores in preparation for hellebore season. I have my clippers and my needle pad, and my wheelbarrow and my carry me bucket. That's, we're not going through the garden gate just yet. Right here, you can see there's ferns and there's this hellebore. I'm going to trim this hellebore back. It's a white hellebore. You can see it's already beginning to come. And look at the bluebells. There's loads of bluebells coming up and this fern. Now this hellebore, and there's two others, were from my cousin who was also my godmother. And when she died, I went into her garden and dug up these beautiful, huge clump of um, really, really white hellebore. And this one is underneath the fig tree that was brought here to the farm by my Great, great, great grandmother, I think. Anyway, there's a bird bath. So over here is another of my cousin godmother's, oh dear, white hellebore. So I'll be able to trim that back. You can see there's one of the blooms coming. And here is, there is, this is a wonderful hydrangeas. They're about, God, they could be 10 or 15 years old at this stage. But look, a self-planted, beautiful little pansy. Anyway, these are ferns and there's more hellebores. These are ones that I bought and planted or was given. There, I'll be pruning them out or pruning the leaves of them out. And then over here, this wisteria, there's a, you can see the ferns are huge. Right here is a huge hellebore, huge white hellebore of my cousins. So there are three that I look after and have been for I think she died eight or nine years ago. But then I've constantly been planting more hellebores, as you can see. So I'll be pruning all those leaves. Here's another hellebore surrounded by Love in the Mist. These are Love in the Mist seed pods, which I love. Anyway, this hellebore, look at that. Look at its beautiful, colorful, red blooms are about to come out. So I need to trim that hellebore back. And then we come up here. This is the huge espalier tree. It's one of the biggest freestanding espalier apple trees in Ireland. And it's, you can see the ferns growing on it. I love the ferns are growing on it. But under here, there are more hellebore. There's this kind, and then there's this one and that one, and then there's some more there. So I've got loads of hellebore to prune back. But this espaliered apple tree is one of the biggest freestanding espaliered apple trees in all of Ireland. And its magnificence is best seen in the winter. You can see there, isn't it gorgeous?
It's an amazing thing. And it was probably planted and started by my great grandfather at the turn of the last century, potentially. Look at the size of that trunk, it's huge. And at the moment, the blackbirds are having a feast. Every time I'm coming through here into the garden, you can see the blackbirds are eating the apples. So they're having a feast of the apples that I didn't pick or sell. Usually they're the blemished ones. What are you doing under there, Bear? So that is what I'm going to be doing over the, ne over the next few hours. Look at all my, um... oh, I'm being stupid. I can't remember what this stuff is called. Stupid woman forgetting the names of things. That's Sage and Periwinkle. That's what that stuff is called, Periwinkle. Here's some more hellebores that I'll be pruning and you can see the flowers are coming out, are beginning to come. So I will have to do some pruning. And as you can see, my assistant gardeners are all there to help. So there's more hellebores in along that wall. And some seed heads, I just love, they're fantastic like these. They're so decorative and the birds are feeding off of them. So in here, there's more hellebores. There's some, there's some. This big fern, there's a hellebore in here, I think. There it is. There's that hellebore. So I'm gonna have to look. This is a black hellebore. So it has these incredible black blooms. So hellebore season is approaching. So I must prune my hellebore in the garden. What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? <laughs> Ink a dink. Wait. <laughs> She's climbing all the way along the espalier. Oh, <laughs> I'm sitting here pruning the hellebores, which you're walking all on. Look at you, you're walking all over my recently, see here's a, a kind of reddy pink one, and here's gonna be a creamy one. And I was just doing this one here when Inca climbed up the tree. What are you doing? Are you coming down again? You're such a tree climbing dog. You're such a pup. <laughs> You're such a tree climbing dog. <laughs> you clever girl. You're so clever. Yeah. Oh, going out on a branch. Really? You're such a pup. Are you now stuck? You can't turn around. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> you can't turn around. It's not hugely high off the ground, by the way, everybody. So don't be worried. Oh, pup. You got the shakes anyway. Okay. I'll come and rescue you. You did kind of get up on a dead end branch, didn't you? And did she bump the phone, which turned it off. So she got down safe and sound. <laughs> I'm gonna finish pruning this um, particular hellebore, which now is gonna be squished. Look at that, there's three different kinds. There's the pink one, this kind of creamy one, and then this is another kind of creamy one. 